This is Twit. Oh, yeah. Did we mention Apple at a trillion dollar market cap? Yeah. Did we mention that? I mean, it's a vanity metric, but what a, what a big number. Right. Well, and you know that it really is it, to, to, for a little reality check there as well. Is, is It's a vanity number, especially given the fact that it wouldn't be anywhere near that if they weren't spending hundreds of billions of dollars buying their own stock back. I mean, there's a little bit of a, you know, that, that stock, the stock, when we really talk about stock value, I mean, I think Apple's doing great. They're going to keep on making more money. That's great. But that, that is not what's giving them a trillion dollar valuation. What's giving them a trillion dollar valuation is, is basically taking a otherwise stagnant stock and, and, you know, and basically def inflating it by buying their own and keeping the investors happy. Otherwise, people would have moved on. I, I'm also I'm also impressed that they've managed to become a trillion dollar company without amassing a whole bunch of really terrible scandals. Like uh, I have so much respect for so many things that Amazon has a achieved, but I do not like the fact that every single conversation about convers uh, about uh, Amazon that consists of more than four sentences has to consist has to include the phrase, but they treat their lowest paid workers like crap, that Facebook is a very successful company, but they are essentially a beehive full of horrible ideas implemented carelessly with thought to how best to protect its users from the community that its own, that's its own service have created. Whereas Apple, all you basically get are a couple of really intense attention getting, oh, well, they're recycling uh, a certain element from their uh, phone frames, but they could be recycling more. Or yes, they're paying their workers uh, in uh, their subcontractors in China very, very well and treating them very, very well compared to other manufacturers, but maybe they could be treating them well. So the fact that they, uh, I, I, you always take things tongue in cheek when you have a company that likes to position itself as, oh, well, we are a very ethical company and we are a very green company and we are very, very positive and we, we have values that we feel that are very, very positive. But Apple tends to actually deliver on that stuff too, so that has to be mentioned. And, well, and I think that one of the things when we, when we look at those stock buybacks, um, the only thing I was going to say is that I think that <laughs> One of the things we see here is the schism between Apple's uh, personality, I think, and how much money they're making. They're actually making money. They're, they're focused like a startup, <laughs> you know, and <laughs> and they're making money uh, like a you know like the biggest company in the world. And the problem is, is they literally don't have a culture of, of well, we could just experiment with a bunch of things. We could take that hundred billion dollars and we could buy T-Mobile and create a cell network and buy something else and do this. It, you know, they don't want to be distracted and they 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 have something that works. I think that someday down the road we may say, well, that might have been a good idea, you know, to to mm -hmm. get distracted and do and move into other businesses. Uh, so far, they've been able to leverage this really well, but it it does create a uh, a pretty you know, like the very top heavy situation where if the iPhone collapsed for, for some reason, um, you know, Apple would still make billions, <laughs> um, but not not in the same, you know, not in the same way.